All right, in this video, what we're gonna do is we're going to look at how to use a note-taking app in order to write on or annotate a digital ebook or an OER book or a PDF or other type of class notes, okay? I am using an app right now called Office 365 OneNote. This is available for free to all CNM students, okay? So let's kind of look at this. So what I've done is I've kind of opened up the structure and you can see how it organizes the courses. So you could like on the very left hand course column have a section for each of your classes and then each section of a class you could say class notes versus PDF book versus PowerPoints that kind of thing and then you can add pages. So I'm going to minimize this section so you can see up close a little bit. Okay and what I've done actually I'm going to open that up a little bit and just get rid of that. Okay. So I've added a page and I have downloaded an OER digital ebook called Concepts of Biology. Um, and this is a free ebook. Um, so I don't want to print it. I want to be able to read it on my device and I want to be able to write on it. Okay. So I've already downloaded it to save time. But basically, if you wanted to download it with OneNote, you just click on Insert and then you tap the screen and it make, brings this up and you click on PDF Printout and then you can bring it up. Um, and something went wrong because of course I started recording so of course something's gonna go wrong why wouldn't it <sighs> now it's coming up Ugh. okay <sighs> um, All right, so let's try that again. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna tap on the screen, then tap on PDF printout, and this is gonna bring up my files. And you'll see I've got two books downloaded, two different versions of the concepts in biology. One is a really high resolution file that's really large. OneNote doesn't want to bring it up because it wants its files to be under 50 megs. So I have taken the lower resolution um, book that's on the left, but the higher resolution I might use in a different app like in Notability. Okay, so it's already downloaded, so let's bring this up. So I can scroll up and down. I can't search the way I could in some other PDF readers where you can like tap on part of the table of contents and it'll take you right to the chapter. It's a little bit more limited than that, um, but it's good for other things. So let's go down to the first page of the book. All right, and then I'm gonna click on draw, and I've already clicked on the pencil. And I can change the color and then I can come over here and I can underline things. I could circle things. I can draw beautiful pictures. Um, I can come over here. I can take my highlighter and then I can highlight things that I find important. And of course, um, I can always write um, notes okay, on the page. And you can do this not just for um, your OER or ebook, you can do it for other things as well. So I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna click on page. And then I'm gonna tap in here. Actually, I'm gonna hit insert first, then I'm gonna tap in there and I'm gonna hit PDF printout. And I'm gonna go to my OneDrive where I have downloaded the course notes for a class. I'm gonna click on class. See, I have a lot of classes. And let's come over here and let's bring up my skin slides. So here we are, I'm opening up another PDF right here. And you see, uh, this is a fairly small document so it opens up pretty quickly. So if I come up here, you can see it starts at the beginning, just got this off of my Blackboard, downloaded it onto the computer. And then I can come over here and take these pictures and I can then draw and label structures. You could do this from any notes in class. You could take a picture of the board notes, all right? You can take a picture of a peer's handwritten notes from class. You could take a picture of models or other figures from class, all right? When you take this pic, then use an app like Genius Scan on your phone, and it'll convert it into a PDF. Upload the PDF to your favorite iCloud drive, like Dropbox, Google Drive or um, OneDrive, and then you can insert it just like this into 
um, OneNote or some other note-taking app, and which I will have little videos of to show you those as well. And what's really nice is if you like took a picture, you missed class, you took a picture of a friend's notes, you can bring them up, you can write your own notes on them, you could um, find all the words you can't quite figure out what they're writing and then ask them what it is and then write it more neatly. Um, you can add things to it. It's, it's a pretty nice feature. And then you have everything on your device. It's digitized. You stay, save it in the cloud. You don't lose it. You can do a lot of really neat things with it. Okay, so there are some other videos where I show some other note-taking apps, and you can go and check those out if you want to see what some of the other options are besides OneNote. And that's the end of this video.